All right, we're back in business. Got my chair here. Keep my ass from getting greased up. Um, casting things off. Casting certain desires off. Uh, I left off earlier the battery or ran out of memory, so I gotta make this quick. I don't have much hard drive space or digital space left. Uh, Explain about the uh, the turbocharged propane powered engine. Uh, make it 250 horse and 1800 RPM. So that's pretty good for an automotive engine. But that aside, uh, um, you know when you when you strip it all back. And, you know, when you take away that de desire or remove it, whatever you do to um, get rid of the desire of family and women, however it is in each of you, it leaves a hole. And you are sitting, you know, at least for me, it's like I'm trying to figure out what to do down here. And really, you're, you're left with uh, keeping your hands busy. Um, making an attempt to walk in truth in every scenario, um, helping people out when they need, and, you know, I believe, you know, I'm a Christian, I believe in uh, teaching the, uh, the message of the coming kingdom, you know, that was uh, Christ's made message, is to believe in him and, uh, and, and his coming kingdom. Hope you can hear me with that uh, covered up. So... Might have to do this. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we take a look. We can take a look at what we get ourselves into um, with uh, our desires, you know, left unchecked, and you know, it's some of it can be very destructive. Uh, the Apostle Paul taught that uh, you know everything was permissible, that not everything was beneficial. He understood grace. Um, he understood the grace that God has given us to uh, learn from our errors, uh, to see that he is good, um, and that none of it would be held against us. That was, uh, that was the main point uh, of Jesus and grace, the grace message. Because um, deep down inside, there's probably not a whole lot of anything good in us, you know, when it comes to comes down to I'm, you know, maybe that's saying it a little harsh. Uh, I'm, I always looked at thing. I always try to look at things objectively. There's good. There's good in everybody, and but there's also bad intentions uh, mix, intermixed with that good. So um, sometimes I'm just rotten to the core, you know, and it comes out. And I guess that's what happens when you work with machines all the time, and everybody else is different. But uh, um, yeah, the back to the back on topic here. Um, oh, Paul, the Apostle Paul uh, knew that uh, he could master everything, and that everything wouldn't master him. So he could go into certain situations that other people might, you know, other religious people thought that would be completely inappropriate. And he would master, have mastery over himself. He could control himself in those situations, um, you know, uh, so that nothing essentially was off limits uh, to the person who has the right heart condition in that scenario. Um, I'm going to let you guys take that wherever you want. Uh, I'm not saying. Uh, you go unite yourself to a prostitute uh, if you want. You're going to pay the consequences for that. And yes, there are consequences for doing those type of actions. Um, you know, it only leads to feeding that drive all the more. So, uh, so once you walk away with this, uh, really, it's it's us men and our sexuality. We're having to keep it in check. Um, and it's just about impossible sometimes it'll drive you nuts because we've got this this built into us and we don't know what to do with it um it's too dangerous everywhere you turn so uh, and even there is a situation where paul in the new testament i think it's corinthians or somewhere and there's he was talking to the married couple who separated themselves for a 
period of fasting and prayer to not do it for so long, too long, lest they get tempted. And so what I took away from that was if this married couple gets tempted with uh, doing uh, inappropriate things from being apart for too long, well, what do the what do the single guys have to put up with or have to deal with? You know, we get the same drive, and so what do we do with it? So it's I don't have any answers to it. I mean, other than you're probably not alone, and uh, you know, just focusing on better things, keeping your hands busy. Uh, each of us is at a different point in life, you know, I'm I'm just uh, kind of maintaining things and doing what I like to do and helping people out with uh, keeping machines working. Uh, other people might be living in the Caribbean, you know, living it up and enjoying what they have and, you know, to each their own. I'm sure I wouldn't mind a trip to some place like that for a little while, but uh, um, it seems like wherever you go, you eventually take it for granted. Uh, the message of being uh, content with what you have and where you're at is what we need to learn and understand. Um, be thankful with, for what you have. There's other people that have it worse. Um, you know, some by their own choices or some uh, indirectly, you know, not their choice or decision. I mean, just just wait till uh, wartime, is tough, wartime comes to American soil, you know. We're, we're not even stupid to think it won't happen because it has happened in the past how many times and we always we walk around in this country with this attitude whoa we'll never have a problem here uh you're naive and foolish so enjoy it while you have it um i think a lot of uh uh our pr i should say problem a lot of a lot of these uh, situations where men are frowned upon will vanish very fast when the environment is such where a man is needed. So, uh, I'm not one for ab advocating collapse or, you know, chaos, you know, to oh, make ourselves look great again or this or that. You know, you know, I'm a man, you know, I, I've got whatever, I got the, uh, I got what you need, I got, you know, all the tools for the scenario or the situation, whatever that demands. You know, I'm a survivalist, you know. I used to kind of think like that, that that would be a good scenario to, hey, you know, and then, the, then the chicks would dig you. Well, right now with living in freedom, we're, we're able to see what is inside of people. And, you know, the true female nature is being expressed right now. And you, you see, you can see it with your own eyes and deal with it if you want to or not. But, uh, um. When you have freedom, the hearts of everybody can be exposed. Uh, when no one's holding you back, you're able to see what's in somebody, and that's what we got right now. And when life throws us, when life throws us curveballs, uh, those attitudes or expressions of how people really are get packed 